Virtual reality is not just about the gaming. There are things that you can do in VR that not everyone might be aware of and we want to change that with our videos. Today we are touching on a normally very boring job but turns into an incredibly fun one with VR. We are talking about working out. Nowadays studies have proven that exercising in VR can burn more calories per minute than most dedicated workout equipment at the gym. Apps dedicated to VR gaming are now available that can track your calories more accurately. Even Apple believes in it so much that they added a fitness gaming workout type on their watches. Everything points to VR being the future of exercising, but it's not only in the future, it is already in the present. So in this video, I will tell you about working out in VR and give you tips and tricks on how to get started yourself. Hey everyone, Cass here and I welcome you to another Dive Into VR episode. Subscribe if you haven't yet to see more videos like this one and check out this playlist right here. And now join me beyond reality right after this. Have you ever lost your wallet? With these smart wallets from Exter, you don't have to waste time searching for it anymore. This solar powered tracker allows you to track your phone worldwide using a phone app. Or by voice command, if you got one of these. Hey Google. Where is my wallet? Okay, locating wallet. We have used them for a week now and we especially enjoy its easy card access and how slim it is. It also has RFID protection so it's safe against identity theft and skimming. Never a bad feature. Check the link below for more information. So everyone needs to work out, at least that's what the doctors say, but I'm usually very demotivated to actually dress up and go to the gym after work because I think going to the gym is boring and time consuming. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that because my friends around me, they uh, all work out but don't find it the most fun job to do. They feel great after, but actually going can sometimes be difficult. But now I am using VR as my workout and it feels great. I don't have much trouble getting started because I actually enjoy it. But don't just take my word on it. Let's check out some uh, success stories. For example, in this article by VR Scout, they talk about Robert, who developed a daily 30 minute workout routine using just Beat Saber and lost 138 pounds in only two months. If you don't know Beat Saber, you may be living under a rock or maybe I'm just living in a VR bubble. But Beat Saber is one of the most popular VR rhythm games where you use lightsabers to slash boxes that come at you at the beat of the music. It's a ton of fun, but I can assure you, once you learn how to play on an expert level or higher, doing it for 30 minutes can really tire you out. Robert says that it worked for him because it drew his inner child, so he was able to give it his all and have fun doing it. Here's another success story from Reddit user Geoff Bauman. He says he has been on a 6 month VR fitness journey using Beat Saber to determine the results one can get from only adding VR cardio to an otherwise unchanged lifestyle and diet. He shows a picture of the results and says that he is 30 pounds down. And it looks good. These success stories are in line with a research study by the VR Institute of Health and Exercise that says 5 minutes of working out in an active VR game burns more calories than making love. For example, 5 minutes of audio trip, which is another rhythm VR game, burns 3.47 times more calories than a night of passion. I think the best thing about working out in VR is that it doesn't feel like a boring chore in a gym. It just feels like I'm playing a game and that makes it enjoyable for me. Because of that, I find it much easier to keep motivated. This is why I wanted to make this video. I want to inspire you to start doing the same if you haven't yet. And if you have friends who don't like gaming, they might like getting a VR headset just for this. So please do share my video with your friends and give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting so far. If you want to get started too, the two basic things you will need are a VR headset and some VR games. If you don't have a headset yet, I recommend getting an Oculus Quest because it's standalone and wireless. You can get one for 400 US dollars. Now you don't need the following two things, but I do prefer using it. A calorie tracker with a heart monitor. I use these to track my VR workout more accurately. However, you could also use a smartwatch like the fitness gaming workout type on the Apple Watch that I talked about before. 
But since VR is still a pretty new industry, normal calorie trackers might not give you accurate data. So I recommend using a calorie tracker that is dedicated to VR gaming. I have found two that I like, the YourFit app and the app by the VR Institute of Health and Exercise themselves. Both apps are free, but the one I prefer using is YourFit. It's currently in early access, you can download the desktop app on Steam or sideload the app on the Oculus Quest. If you don't know how to sideload, I've made a guide on it in a previous video, which I'll link in the description. I like the YourFit app because it shows an overlay during my VR gaming sessions. The overlay shows data on your workout, like how many calories you've burned, how long you have been working out, your current heart rate, and even how many times you've squatted. The heart rate is only available if you connect a heart monitor. Here's a list of all monitors that are supported by the Your app. I am using a Wahoo ticker and I'm pretty satisfied with it. I will put a link below in case you are looking for one too. After a VR workout session, you can view your historical data to see how you perform. This only works if you have an account though. It's all synchronized in the cloud too, so you can log in anywhere to view the data. I've tried using Gear on my PC and afterward I went to my Quest. And both sessions are combined in my account. I also have the app on my phone, which I think is even handier. But another thing I like about the Eurofit app is that it uses extra gamification to motivate you. You can level up by burning calories, and the more calories you burn, the more points you get for your level. There's a leaderboard too, which can help if competition is something that motivates you. Then there is the app by the VR Institute of Health and Exercise. This is an institute that studies the impact of virtual reality exercise on the human body. Their app is available on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. In their app you can also connect a heart monitor, but it seems to support fewer heart monitors because I could not get it working with my Wahoo ticker. But what I like about this app is that it shows a list of many different games and it tells you how many calories you will burn per minute. They've rated those games by doing the tests themselves, and they are transparent about how they do these tests. If you want to know what their methods were, it's all on their website. VR game developers can submit their game for rating if they think it could be used as a workout. Not only can you use this app as a tracker, but you can also use it to find games that you can add to your VR workout routine. We're almost at the end of this video, so I wanted to share some um, of my VR game recommendations that I like using for my workout. First of all, Beat Saber is one of my favorites. With Beat Saber, I do feel like I'm only training my arms though, so I usually combine this game with other games. I also like Audio Trip. This game is great for a full body workout. Here, triangles and lines fly at you that you have to follow with your arms. What makes this game different is that it has a great flow that makes your whole body move. A choreographer stands in front of you that shows you dance moves that you can mirror. The game makes you feel like you are dancing. Whether it actually looks like dancing in real life, well, I don't know. Plus, Audio Trip has some very catchy songs like Satisfaction from Benny Benassi. Lastly, I've been playing a lot of Pistol Whip, which trains your legs as well as you will squat a lot while dodging bullets. This is especially noticeable when you play on harder difficulties. Here you enter an auto-running level that looks like an action scene from a movie. Targets will start shooting at you and you have to defend yourself by shooting back while dodging bullets. The beautiful level designs are all on the beat of the music. Even when you dodge a bullet, you can hear the bullets fly past you. The game just gives you energy, it's great and at the moment one of my favorite VR workout games. I've named a lot of music games as my favorites, but you can also play VR games of other genres as a workout. There's for example Until You Fall, a procedurally generated sword fighting game that can be an intense activity too. If you want more tips, check out the ratings in the app by the VR Institute of Health and Exercise. Now, I know gaming in VR might not work for everyone, what motivates me might not be the same for you. For example, I get motivated by these gamification elements. If I can see my progress and can level up my calorie points, then I feel more motivated to keep on doing it. Plus, I like games, so if you are anything like me, then I do think it's worth giving it a try. Let us know if you are going to get started now, and if you already exercise in VR, what games do you recommend playing? Put them down below so everyone can get some more suggestions. 
Again, thanks for watching. You are amazing. I hope to see you all in the next video. A special thanks goes to our right hand page. Once big thanks to Art Arming for his long term support. Check out Art Arming's YouTube page. Another shout out goes to Backson VR and his VR YouTube channel. And as always, VR. I don't have much trouble getting started because I actually enjoy it. But I, but don't. Gym. It just feels like uh, I'm a game, and that makes it enjoyable for me because of that. Blech.